Hello everyone, welcome to the Style That Finds Us YouTube channel. Today you are in my Manhattan apartment and we are going to be cooking a crock pot recipe. What I like to do with my lifestyle, I'm on the go, busy, I want to eat healthy, I want to eat clean, I don't want there to be processed and bad ingredients in there, but I don't want to spend a ton of time cooking every single meal because I would rather be working and doing things like that. So a crock pot soup is perfect. Basically, you just dump all this stuff in there, cook it for four hours, and voila, you have meals for days. So this one is from Pinch of Yum. And this is the best detox crock pot lentil soup. What could be better than that? So what we're gonna start with is butternut squash cubes. I would say here that, and I'll put the recipe in the description, don't worry, but butternut squash, you can do frozen or fresh. They seemed to be out of the frozen and this was already washed. Before I did this, I washed my hands of course. And so with butternut squash, you can either use frozen, you can use this, and sometimes if both of those are sold out with the cubes, then I use in the can. And it's actually really creamy and delicious. You could, of course, if you're a super chef, get an actual butternut squash. <laughs> and then, let's see. The next thing is carrots. So I'm going to take this bag of carrots, and then I'm going to stick them right inside the crock pot. So with carrots, you could get the big ones and cut them up, or you can just get a bag of carrots like this and put it all in there. This is a little bit simpler. Now we have the lentils. So this is, we have both split peas and lentils in this recipe, which is interesting. So an easier thing instead of tearing into this is gonna be just go ahead and cut and then dump all the lentils in here. And then the same thing with the split peas. My diet consists of a ton of lentils, black beans, peanut butter, legumes, all of the things like that. Okay, and now we're gonna have one onion. So I actually have two onions here today. So one thing, I don't know if, sorry, I didn't show y'all, but this was Goya, so these are the split peas, and then these cow organic rainbow carrots, and then the yellow split peas, also from Goya. I always look at the ingredients, and when I buy things, I try to buy them with as little things as possible. For example, when I'm buying a can of black beans, I'll try to get like just maybe black beans and water or maybe salt, not like calcium chloride and all those things, because I don't really know what that is, and I don't want to ingest that. These are onion goggles, so they look really crazy. They are not super chic. <laughs> they're going to be great for onions. Another thing is I am, I made quinoa yesterday, so I'm just going to put some quinoa in here, and then also I have this red pepper left over. So sometimes with these recipes, you can be a mastermind and put in extra things that maybe you have around. This one is so interesting because is it a green pepper or is it a red pepper? <laughs> idea because literally it has both colors on it. Oh my goodness, the other day the most crazy thing happened to me. I was cutting into an orange pepper and you would not believe when I cut into it a literal little teeny bug flew out and there were all these like there was all this black stuff. It was as if it was moldy on the inside, but really I think it had just been because that little bug must have been eating. But how in the world would a bug get an inside a pepper? So that was completely crazy, and I was talk, telling my grandmother about that, and she was laughing. She was like, in my entire life, and she's in her mid-80s. I have never seen that. Okay, so obviously that was washed before. The onions I also washed before. So, the onion goggles, although they are not chic, they help you, and I can put a link in the description to buy these, they help you to not cry. And especially, I have contacts, it, it is truly the worst. My eyes will tear up and it will get like trapped in the contacts or something. 
especially if I have on makeup, the mascara and the eyeliner is running everywhere, which is horrifying. So now the onion's in there. I think I'm not going to have enough room for the quinoa. So what I'm going to do with the quinoa, it wasn't even in the recipe anyway. So I was thinking maybe in the bowl I could put a little bit of quinoa and then put the soup on top. So now we have five cloves of garlic. Garlic is great. It is so healthy for you. And since I don't have cloves and I don't have the garlic presser, I just equate a teaspoon per clove. So... Well, here we go. One, because if it even if it's more, I'm fine with that because it's so good for you. So this is three, four, five. Okay, and then now we're gonna have some eight cups of veggie broth. So. Let's see how that goes. So this thing is two cups. So we have two. It said eight to ten cups. So I'm going to run out soon. So I guess I could just use water. Six. Okay, and that's that's enough because now it's too full. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Literally, you see how quick that was, and now all I have to do is cook it for probably four hours on low or who knows what, but just turn it on, start cooking. We're going to look at the recipe to check that. Again, the recipe is going to be in the description below, and I can put the onion goggles in the description too in case you don't have those. Those really are a lifesaver. I hope you enjoyed this first cooking video. Let me know if you want more cooking videos. Do you have any certain suggestions? Do you want breakfast, lunch, or dinner? What meal do you want? I am a vegetarian, so there will be no meat on this YouTube channel. I can promise you that. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video if you liked it. Comment with those suggestions. We have a website, thestylethatbindsus.com. We have so many resources for you there. On our blog section, for example, we have a podcast, The Style That Binds Us podcast. And make sure to follow on Instagram, The Style That Binds Us, Allison Brune, and Delia Folk. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!